Let us start our program with dua Imam. Put your hands up, make punur, and let's start our lecture, our program, our third session with the lovely dua of Imam Zamana. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Allahumma kull baliyak ya hujjat ibn al-Hasan. Salawatuk ya alayhi wa ala Put your hand on your heart and let's start the lovely Mada. But in Dua Imam Zamana, I'm feeling that you lot are tired or maybe sleepy and you don't have that energy which you had on Thursday and Tuesday. So, with energy and with love, call your Imam. Once more with a better way and with energy and with love. Thursday and Tuesday. If you are not sleeping, is your name Muhammad? Yes or no? no. So anybody's name whose name is Muhammad, he has to say yes. Okay. Anyway, because because I'm feeling you are tired, we start today's session before we go to Zarate Ashura, before we go to stories, before we go to quizzes. We will start from rapid questions, the questions which I ask from boys and girls. Okay. And today's questions are very easy. 
because on Thursday I felt that some questions were difficult and hard and, uh, and you were getting confused. Today's questions are very easy and you just have three seconds, okay? I'll start this time from girls. One, two, three. Sisters, Imam Jafar Sadiq's title is Sadiq. Yes or no? Yes. Brothers, Imam Jafar Sadiq's name is Jafar. Yes or no? Yes. Oh Asar Bhai, where are you? I need your help. You, you are the judge. Okay, today we change the judge. Kazim Bhai, you are the judge for today. Uh, please tell us who is the winner. So sisters said yes and they were correct. Brothers said 50-50 and the elder brothers, please help your younger brothers, okay? And same in sisters. Question number three from sisters. Imam Jafar Sadiq was born on 17th of Rabi Usani. Yes or no? Brothers, Imam Jafar Sadiq was born in the city of Mashhad. Yes or no? You know are still sleeping. You know are sleeping. Okay, I'll ask this question from sisters. Imam Jafar Sadiq was born in the city of Mashhad. Yes or no? No, yes. No, yes. So they are 50 50 there as well. Imam Jafar Sadiq was not born in Mashhad. None of our Imams was born in Mashhad. Only our Imam Raza is being buried there. His shrine is there. But our Imam was not born in Mashhad. Kazim Bhai, please let us know. Now, question number. Five from brothers. Please, I want energy. Get up, get up. Okay, I'll get toffees. We have a toffee eating competition today. Toffee eating competition. And this competition is for boys and between boys and girls from six till eight. 20? You don't have 20 here. 6 to 10. 6 to 10. 6 to 10, okay? So please be with energy, be with me. And after this competition, we are going to this trophy eating competition. So, brothers and sisters, I want energy. Sisters and girls, energy is more than you. Why? Get up. Recite a very loud salawat. Seven o'clock in the morning, and you wanted to be in your bed, but Alhamdulillah, you are here for the love of Imam Zamana, and Inshallah, we want to show our love to Imam Zamana. Imam Zamana loves those boys who are who are with energy, right? Okay, now it's boys' turn. Okay, boys. Imam Jafar Sadiq's mother's name is Bibi Zainab. Yes or no? Oh! Sisters. Now this question is tricky and difficult. And I don't know if they will give the correct answer. One of the students of Imam Jafar Sadiq is one of the Imams of Sunni. And his name is Abu Hanifa. Yes or no? They knew it. They knew it. They guessed. They guessed. Now let me tell you, Abu Hanifa, he is one of the Imams of Sunnis. We know our Shia or Sunni. We are Shia or Sunni. We are Shia. We have twelve Imams or fifteen Imams. Okay, so we have twelve Imams, Sunnis. There are different sects in Sunnis. The Hanafi Sunnis, their Imam is Abu Hanifa. And do you know Abu Hanifa was one of the students of our Imam? Abu Hanifa was one of the students of Imam Jafar Sadiq He studied there for two years. He was a student of Imam Jafar Sadiq. Okay, boys. Now it's boys' turn. Yeah? Okay, boys. Imam. Jafar Sadiq was born on 18th of Rabiul Awwal. Yes or no? Sisters, Imam Jafar Sadiq was born on 17th of Rabiul Awwal. Yes or no? Yes. Brothers, Imam Jafar Sadiq's father's name is Imam Zainul Abidin. Yes or no? Yes. Sisters, Imam Jafar Sadiq's grandfather's name is Imam Sajjad. Yes or no? Yes. Noise? Yes. Some said no, some said yes. 
Imam whose father? What is the name of Imam Jafar Sadiq's father? And everybody, Imam Muhammad. And who is the father of Imam Muhammad Baqir? Imam Sajjad, Imam Zair al -Abdeen. So this means Imam Zair al -Abdeen is the grandfather of Imam Jafar Sadiq. Okay. Now is boys turn? Okay, boys. Who, who, who is who is who is winner by now? Sisters. There are many wrong answers there. I think you are supporting sisters. <laughs> okay, it's okay, no problem. Boys, Imam Jafar Sadiq is our seventh Imam. Yes or no? Okay, the elder boys, why you are not talking? You are just sleeping, maybe. Should I request you to come at the front and let them go back? If no, so speak, please, okay? Sisters, Imam Jafar Sadiq's son's name is Imam Musa Kazim. Yes or no? Yeah. Okay, whose turn is it? Boys. Girls. Imam Jafar Sadiq was born in Makkah. Yes or no? No! Boys, Imam Jafar Sadiq was born in Medina. Yes or no? Yes! I can't hear any voice from elder boys. Why? Because they're, they're, they're not sleeping? Okay. Now, I will ask a question for the elder boys. And the question is for elder sisters as well. And there is this gift for them. Elder boys and elder sisters. Anybody above 12 in boys and above 12 in girls? This is a difficult question. This is a difficult question. About him, our sixth imam. One of the famous students of Imam Jafar Sadiq who was expert in chemistry. Elder boys, I mean elder boys, and elder sisters from 12 to 16. Anybody from 12 to 16? Anybody from 12 to 16? One of the famous students of Imam Jafar Sadiq who is known as the father of chemistry as well. He, you have the answer, yes? Pardon? Can you say it louder? Jabir ibn Hayyan. Come and take your gift. Recite salawat. Salla ala Muhammad wa ali Muhammad wa ajil fardam. Let's go to our rapid question. And we have three more questions. Okay. Whose turn is it? Boys? Okay, boys. Imam Jafar Sadiq is our sixth Imam. Yes or no? Yes. Girl, Imam Jafar Sadiq's grave is in Jannatul Baqi. Yes or no? Yes, yes or no? Yes. Okay, boy. Imam Jafar Sadiq's father's name is Imam Muhammad Baqir. Yes or no? Yes. 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 Now this is this is a quite difficult question. They might not have the answer, and they might give the wrong answer. Sisters, Imam Jafar Sadiq was in Karbala with his grandfather, Imam Sajjad. Yes or no? No. They had the answer. No. I thought they would say yes. And now there's a question: Who was in Karbala with Imam Hussein? Except that. Imam Sajjad. There's a gift. So in Karbala, Imam Hussein was in Karbala. Imam Sajjad, Imam Zainul Abdin was in Karbala. Who else was in Karbala? Yes, you little girl. Mola Abbas. Yeah, of course Mola Abbas was there. But from our Imams, from our Imams. Imam Hussein was in Karbala. Imam Zainul Abdin was in Karbala. You know? Yes, who was? Imam Jafar Sadiq was, no, no, he was not with Imam Hussein in Karbala. Yes, you know, Imam Muhammad Baqir. This gift is for the sister. Salawat. Now, this is the very difficult question. How old was Imam Muhammad Baqir when he was in Karbala? How old was Imam Muhammad Baqir? When he was in Karbala, anybody has the answer? 
You have the answer? Three? No. How old was Imam Muhammad Abil Helki? To help you, I will say he was under seven. This is twelve. Yes? Six? No. I'll help you more. He was under six. How old was Imam Muhammad Abil when he was in Karbala? Uh, yes? How old was he? Five? No. How old was Imam Muhammad Abil? Yes? For this was definitely guess, but there's a gift for you. Salah. <laughs> Boys and girls, put your hand on your heart. <laughs> louder and with energy. <laughs> We are reciting Zarat al Ashura to gift it to you. So please accept this gift from us. Okay? Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. As-salamu alaykum. Ya Abu Abdullah. As-salamu alaykum. Ya Abu Rasulullah. As-salamu alaykum. Ya Khairatullah. Ya Abu Khairatullah. Assalamu alaikum ya Amir al Assalamu alaikum wa ala al-arbaah al-lati halat zifnaik alaikum minni jami'an salamullah abajat ma baqitu wa baqiya al-layla wa al-nahar Pause it here. Everybody, ya aba abadillah We recite the Ashura. Whose Zarat is Zarat Ashura? There's, there should be a gift. Yes, there is a gift. When I'm saying whose Zarat is Zarat Ashura, means for who we recite Zarat Ashura. Yes, you little boy. He doesn't have the answer. Uh, Arman? Imam? Imam? 
Imam Ali. Imam Hussein, pass the gift to our man, recite a loud salawat. Now who will tell me, who taught us Jarat Ashura? Who taught us Jarat Ashura? Girls, boys, anybody knows? Yes, who taught us Jarat Ashura? Imam? Who taught us Jarat Ashura? Yes? Bibi Zainab, no. Who taught us Zahra the Ashura? Elder boys, elder girls. Who taught us? Yes, Zain. Amen. Muhammad Baqir alayhi salam. Precise salawat. Pass the gift for Zain. Pass the gift to Zain. So Imam Muhammad Baqir taught us Zahra the Ashura. Now brothers and sisters, in Zahra the Ashura, we talk about Imam Hussain and we show our love to Imam Hussain. Boys and girls, we recite Zarat Ashura for Imam Hussein. Imam Muhammad Ibaqi taught us Zarat Ashura. And we know that Imam Hussein was Muslim. Yes or no? Yes. Imam Hussein was thirsty for three days. Imam Hussein was hungry for three days. His kids were killed in front of him. But at least Imam Hussein had Ali Akbar with him, right? Yes or no? Imam Hussein had Qasim with him, yes? yes. He had Ono Muhammad with him, yes? yes. He had Hazrat Abbas with him, yes? yes. But Imam is Zamana. Does he have Abbas, Qasim, Ali Akbar, Ono Muhammad? Imam is more Muslim, do you know why? Because he doesn't have Qasim with him, he doesn't have Akbar with him, he doesn't have Abbas with him. But you boys and girls, there's a chance for you. You can become Abbas for Imam al Zamana. You can become Qasim for Imam al Zamana. You can become Ali Akbar for Imam al Zamana. You can become Ona Muhammad for Imam al Zamana. Can anybody tell me how can you become Qasim for Imam al Zamana? One gift for brothers and one gift for sisters. How can you become Ali Akbar for Imam al Zamana? How can you become Abbas for Imam al Zamana? Okay, we'll... Yes? Yes? Okay, good. But I want a better answer, a correct answer. How can you become a boss for Imam Zamana? Yes? Be nice and kind. Be nice and kind. Okay, uh, the answer is good. He's saying if I become nice and kind, I'm becoming the Abbas of Imam Zamana. Now I'll, I'll change my question. Wait, wait, I'll change my question. My first question was this How can you become Abbas of Imam Zamana? Okay? How can you become Qasim of Imam Zamana? How can you become Ali Akbar of Imam Zamana? Now I'm changing my question. My question is this now What did Qasim do for Imam Hussein? What did Ali Akbar do for Imam Hussein? What did Hazrat Abbas do for Imam Hussein? What did Ono Muhammad do for Imam Hussein? Yes? They sacrificed their life for Imam Hussein. So here, if you want to, if you want to, okay, one of the sisters has an, an, an answer, yes? What did Hazrat Abbas do for Imam Hussein? Yes? Yeah? What did Imam, what Qasim, Ali Akbar, Ono Muhammad, and Abbas do for Imam Hussein? They made sacrifice. Please pass this uh, gift to the sister. Okay, they may sacrifice. She gave the same answer. Hazrat Qasim, Hazrat Ali Akbar, Hazrat Abbas, Hazrat Ola Muhammad, they sacrificed for their Imam. So now today, you boys and girls, you not can become Qasim for Hazrat Imam Zamana. You not can become Ali Akbar for Imam Zamana. But how? Sacrificing what? Sacrificing. Sacrificing, sacrificing what? Yeah, what will you sacrifice for Imam Zamana? I know chocolate. You know about chocolate. <laughs> so what will you do for Imam Zamana? How, what, what will you sacrifice for Imam Zamana? Yes? Sacrifice your life. Sacrifice your life. What else? It's something easy or very easy. Very good, very good. Some yes? Okay, yes? 
Ya? Yes, you? What? Be patient for him? Yeah. Sacrifice the bad habits. Sacrifice the bad character. Sacrifice fighting with each other. What does this mean? Like for example, you are at home and all of a sudden one of your brothers or one of your sisters said something wrong to you and it made you angry. So don't fight with your brother or your sister. Sacrifice your bad anger for Imam Zawana. You're going out, the elder boys, the elder girls, you're going out, Shaitan and Nafsi Ammara is saying do something wrong with your eyes. Sacrifice that for Imam Zawana. What does it mean? Don't look at the wrong places where Allah is stopping you from looking towards that wrong place or wrong thing, right? So Ali Akbar, if you want to become Ali Akbar for Imam Hussein, if you want to become Qasim for Imam Hussein, if you want to become Abbas for Imam Hussein, they sacrifice their life. You can start sacrifice from your childhood. But how? If there is haram chocolate, just imagine. This is not haram. Okay? This is 100% halal because we've checked the ingredients. Okay? Just imagine if this was haram chocolate. Imagine. Not really. Okay? Imagine. It was haram chocolate, okay, and it was really tasty. It was haram, but it was really tasty. Now Shaitan will say, eat it. Now Sayyamara will say, eat it. <coughs> but sacrifice this for Imam al -Zamana. Say, I will not eat it because it's haram. I will, this is not haram. I'm just giving you an example, okay? So just throw it. Don't eat it. Say, I will not eat it because Imam Zamana will get upset. Imam Zamana will cry. Do you know one of these scholars? He saw Imam Zamana in 2005. He saw Imam Zamana is crying. He asked him, Imam Zamana, why are you crying? Imam Zamana said, I'm crying because my Shias, the Lord, they are making me cry. He asked, Ya Imam, your Shias love you. How come your Shias make you cry? Imam said, my Shias, when they don't pray, they make me cry. My Shia boys and girls, when they don't respect their parents, they make me cry. My Shia boys and girls, when they don't study well, they make me cry. My Shia sisters, my Shia daughters, when they don't do hijab, they make me cry. My Shias, when they fight with each other, they make me cry. My Shias, when they eat haram, they make me cry. So to make Imam happy, we should sacrifice haram things. We should get rid of haram things. We should start doing the good things. Okay? If you find haram, just get rid of it. Destroy it. Yes, you have to leave it. Recite a salawat. Muhammad. Muhammad. Put your hand on your heart. Let's call Imam Zamana again. Put your hand in your heart and this time close your eyes and this time if you could try to think of Imam Zamana. Bring Imam Zamana in your mind. Imagine as though you are in front of Imam Zamana okay? and you are saying Ish Mera, okay? in front of Imam Zamana. So once you are here, you are feeling you are in, in, in this uh, Imam Barga. Now imagine you are in front of Imam Zamana. Put your hand on your heart. Close your eyes and imagine you are in front of Imam Zamana and call him. Ishmaela, Imam Zamana, Ishmaela, Imam Zamana, Ishmaela, Imam Zamana, Ishmaela, Dunya te bage. Dunya te bade, vira na mala. Bas teri mahaan, ki meri baka ka sarmaya hai mala. Ish mera, imam zamana. Ish mera, imam zamana. Amen.
recite a loud salawat. <laughs> Boys and girls, we have. So now I'll quote the lovely story for you, and I'll give you WhatsApp questions. And please try to participate in WhatsApp questions. And before I give you the story, who kissed the hands and feet of his parents yesterday? Raise the raise your hand. Okay, all all the girls, all the boys. Who gave ten pieces of the Prophet Muhammad Zamana? Okay. Who recited fourteen times salawat? All of you. Mashallah. Very good. Very good. And who says salam and good night and good morning and good night to Imam Zamana? I did it. Very good. Very good. Recite a loud salawat. Muhammad. Wale Muhammad. Once, during the time of our prophet, I'm, I'm finishing the story very quickly. Please don't talk. Please calm down. Please be quiet. In the time of prophet, peace be upon him, it was time of namaz. Azan came. Everybody heard the voice of Azan. Everybody ran towards mosque, masjid, to pray with prophet, peace be upon him. And prophet, when he started his namaz. He finished it very fast. Prophet, when he started his namaz, he finished it very fast. All the companions were surprised. Normally, Prophet doesn't pray this fast. How come today, Prophet finished namaz so quickly, so fast? Prophet was exiting the mosque with Imam Ali. The companions were talking to each other. Let's go and ask Prophet, why did he finish namaz so quickly? Why did he finish the namaz so quickly? One of the companions came to the Prophet and he asked, Ya Rasulullah, Ya Rasulullah, why did you finish namaz so quickly? Rasulullah said, when I was praying, I heard a little baby crying. Boys, girls, I heard a little baby crying so I finished my namaz quickly so that little baby's mom could pick up her child and hug her child so the child doesn't cry anymore look how merciful is prophet this is our prophet and Imam Zamana is saying Imam Zamana is merciful like his grandfather Imam Zamana, when he will come, he will be merciful with everybody, with Shias, with non-Shias, with Muslims, with non-Muslims. And do you know, even now, when we can't see Imam Zamana, he is so kind and so merciful for us that he prays for us. He prays for you, for you, for you, for all of you, you boys, you girls, for me, for parents. Imam Zamana prays for all of us. So shouldn't we? Ask Allah to hesitate the reappearance of Imam Zamana. Put your hands up. Oh my God! Hesitate the reappearance of Imam Zamana. Ilahi. Can you say it louder? Oh my God! Send our Imam Zamana for us. Ilahi. Amin. This was the story. Now questions for what's up? Question number one. Make a drawing. Make a drawing for what? Make a drawing about what? Drawing about when Imam Zamana will come, how will this world be? And bring that drawing on Tuesday, send his picture for me on WhatsApp as well. So when Imam Zamana will come, how will this world be? Make it in the drawing, okay? Question number two. Two similarities between Prophet and Imam Zamana. I quoted the story of Prophet. So write down two similarities of Imam Zamana and Prophet peace be upon him. Question number three, very easy question. Write four similarities between Imam Zamana and son. Not the father and son, the son which is up in the sky, right? So these are three questions, three tasks. Make a drawing, number one, that when Imam Zamana will come, how this world will look. Number two, two similarities between Prophet and Imam Zamana. Number three, four similarities between Son and Imam Zamana. Let's recite the Munajat again. Close your eyes. Imagine you are in front of Imam Zamana. Imam <laughs> Zamana.
Yo, I'm a man. 